Welcome to this video from Azaki Informatics Ltd. In the next few minutes I will give you a short introduction to A323 protocol and C protocol. So what are A323 and SIP? They are such protocols that are developed for real-time applications such as audio, video and data transmission. They are used to create and terminate connections between participants of conversations in case of voice technology. In case of voice technology, the TCP protocol is not effective because of some reasons. For example, it requires a receipt about the sent data, so this can cause interruptions during a conversation. Unlike TCP, the UDP protocol doesn't require the receipt of trans transmitted data, so the conversation can be continuous. Because of this, white technology uses UDP protocol. SIP and A323 protocols use RTP and RTCP protocols as well. RTP protocols are carrying media data while the RTCP is responsible for monitoring transmitted data. A323 consists of terminal, gateway, gatekeeper and multipoint control unit. Terminals are the endpoints of the communication, actually they can be the IP phones. Gateways connect A323 networks to other networks such as PSTN or ISDN networks. Gatekeepers are responsible for building connections and the MCUs manage multipoint conferences. Between the gatekeeper and the terminal there is a permanent TCP connection that requires a reliable and fast internet connection. An A323 call can use the RAS Q931 H2 45 and RTP protocols. Endpoints use the RAS protocol to communicate with the gatekeeper. RAS is used to enable or disable a call. The Q931 protocol is responsible for setting up and terminating a session between participants. The H2 the H245 is used to control the multimedia communication. The two endpoints need to use the same processing methods and H245 is responsible for this. And it uses the RTP and RTCP protocols as well. The C protocol consists of a user agent client and a user agent server. User agent clients are the endpoints, so they are the IP phones. The user agent server can be a registrar server, a proxy server, and a redirect server. The registrar server stores assignments of names and, and addresses. The proxy server manages SIP calls and the redirect server is responsible for finding the location of endpoints. Unlike A323, a SIP call consists of messages and responses. A call between two IP phones and the SIP server can consist of invite, trying, ringing, OK, ACK and by messages and responses. Invite messages used to establish a session between participants. ACK message confirms that the session is created. My message terminates the call. The trying is a response from the SIP server. It signs that the building of the session has been started. Ringing and OK responses are from an endpoint. Ringing signs that the phone is ringing and the OK signs that it receives the request. And during the conversation, RTP protocol carries the voice and media data. Of course, there are further message and response types. In this video you could hear about the A323 and C protocol. Azaki Phone System XC uses these protocols to many sessions between IP phones. Azaki Phone System XC is a market leader, new generation IP phone system that offers efficient web solutions for all types of organizations and provides enough flexibility for IT developers to customize it. If you are interested in more web topics and Azaki Phone System XC, please visit our website at azakiphone.com or send us an email to info at azakifon.com. Thank you for your attention.